Welcome back to our ongoing Office 365 series. In this video, we are going to see uh, BCS. Uh, what's, let's see if, what it is. Oh. Business Connectivity Services. And that low, uh, that tab loaded pretty fast. What it's saying is, Business Connectivity Services bridges the gap between SharePoint sites and other external websites, services, databases, applications. So basically it enables SharePoint to create connection where they can read and write external data. So it's the first one is manage BD. Uh, let's see what is that. Uh, Content them that are not to an app. These can be used on any site. So first one is for it's not uh, for a specific app. It's for everything BDC mod models and external content types. So you can export a site, import site. I apologize. External content type. It's a model. It's a system or content uh, type. You can specify it. This none nothing here. We can only import. So you have we have to have a model file that we can import and then we can define it as a model or resource. And what kind of permission or localized name properties it has, we can import it. Um, which since we don't have it, I'm not gonna go through with it. But uh, again, you will be provided that file and you will be told, hey, can you import it? That's it, as an admin. So set metadata store permissions. I told you metadata is a, if you have blocked or if you have a, uh, for, for YouTuber, most of the YouTuber would know that the tags that you enter that uh, defines your channel and they say it, it help uh, people find your content easily, add tags and you like to add your city name, state name, uh, something like your name or your certification, all that, they are metadata. They, they, like that's another name and basically through that they know that this page is about you and what you have all that so we can add every metadata like for example if I add Ohio and press enter or add it should get added here not exact match or phone oh again account group or I'm sorry it says account group or type or so we can find a group and then and then from there on we can add the permissions and all that so store permission oh this is for the permission not to add the metadata i was wrong so this one is a little bit where is the water so you're gonna add actually a person account or group and then he, they are the one who gonna manage it for you permissions like and the other one is configure so this is all about the metadata or for that profile page creation like they can pro create a profile can't also is Microsoft's um, for for example uh, domain Ex like uh, rather than to say XYZ.com they have this one there is another one Fabricam or something so they should have used mine I am org slash site name but they didn't okay no never mind let's go to B uh, main tab connection settings for apps so like apps they go and connect to other website uh, like Twitter even though you have allowed Twitter feed it's getting its uh, settings oh sorry can uh, feeds from Twitter so they have to have a connection so you can add the connection settings this is all the developer side of SharePoint you will not be doing it because you're not a SharePoint website developer you are just an admin who will be told hey can you add this can you add or add it or modify this value most of the cases maybe uh, you just to give them permission like you, you will set things up here because they cannot be the admin of uh, SharePoint so they will tell you what need to be done and you will be doing it and the team will handle it on the SharePoint sites thing so you can add the connection setting you can name it the one the address URL of that uh, and then authentication what kind of authentication is necessary once uh, this URL is access so again it's easy properties and custom let's go back to 
last one is manage connection to on premises services so you have uh, uh, servers running different uh, services uh, that you want to connect so in that case you will you want your apps or whatever same thing exactly the same thing like in an external one but this time you're connecting to eternal so you have everything same internet facing url what's the f internet facing so external uh, internal users are always different than external like internet facing urls uh, they have like something easier to uh, ihami.org but internal could be like a server name slash uh, folder 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 and this and finally the exe or script or whatever or database client certification like if you want to uh, give the SSI uh, SSL certificates provide you can do that and that's how the web browser goes from HTTP to HTTPS so it's really easy that is it for the business connectivity services nothing for us but I had to uh, so let's wrap this video here if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe share and see you in the next one